He was buried. He and his wife built everything together. They could not have children, but my friend had, my friend had uh, children with one of his servants. It's been open war between these two women. We have tried everything to find peaceful solutions, but all of our attempts failed. In short, you have to decide which of the two women will inherit Bohiri's fortune. Go in and, to, and talk to them, and when you've made up your mind, come back here to give your verdict. What? What was that? Verdict? I think that was a, also a typo or a bug, or maybe it's because of the French version. Huh? Do you have any questions? Who died? Uh, a man of, of the name of Bohiri who was very rich. I see. But why is the council intervening in, his in, in this inheritance problem? He appointed the council to manage his inheritance in case of sudden death. Uh, he didn't trust anyone in his family. Who the, uh, the origins of the conflict. During his life, he had a legitimate wife who was unable to give him children. That is why he had children with a former servant who became his concubine. That is the dilemma. His wife helped him build his business, but he had children with another woman. And they are his legitimate heirs according to our customs. Why can't we share the legacy fairly? We tried everything. They don't want to. One of them will one of them will pay the price for their stubbornness. What do I have to do? This dispute had to be settled. Go to see the deceased two wives. Listen to what they have to say before announcing your verdict. Hmm. Alright. Let's go settle this. One of the wives of the deceased lives here. Go speak to the woman shown by the icon. I could talk to everybody else. I am the sister of the deceased Bohiri. Are you here to discuss my brother's inheritance? Man, so much typos in this game, seriously. What do you think of Abomo and the children? Abomo is materialistic. If she manages that fortune, she will squander it. She is a good mother, so mother, so she can change for their well-being, but it isn't guaranteed. What about his legitimate wife? She is a very good businesswoman. She helped Bohiri to build business, so with her, the business is sure to continue. Huh. You have to weigh those options, eh? Let's get this... To, um, you're wondering if one of the if one of the people killed him. That would be kind of lame. <laughs> Everyone dies in the end. Mr. Bohiri is no longer, and it is hard to believe. I am a friend of the true widow, and I have come to support her in this painful situation. Of the true widow. Yes, the mother of Buhiri's children. The other one was perhaps ma perhaps married to him, but she didn't have any children. These children, her flesh. Oh, wait. I think she will throw them out if she inherits. Uh-huh. That's a good point. Uh, okay, she's just saying it's the same thing. She's worried about that. All right, tell me. Hello, were you friends of Bohiri? Have you come to mourn with me? Uh, no, madam. We have been sent by Elder Belandil. We have come to discuss the problem of the legacy of the deceased. Oh, you are here to judge the problem of the legacy? The inheritance, yeah. Yes. What do you want to know? Relationship with Bohiri. Now this is the concubine, I'm guessing. Mr. Bohiri is dead, and I'm now alone with children. I cannot feed them. You were caring for these children? Was I taking care of our children, you mean? Oh yeah, that might be a little offensive. 
I have more questions. Uh, were you married? No. I was his concubine. He was a womanizer. His wife could not give him children. He was unhappy. I seized the opportunity. Would you like to know more? Or do I want to learn more? What was his relationship with his family like? <laughs> Interesting you could just go down this dialogue tree. Some family members don't like me, but they co coveted their brother's fortune. Others support me because I'm the mother of his children. What do you want to know? Your story here. <coughs> Ten years ago, I arrived as a, si as a simple maid. Over the years, Bohiri argued more and more with his wife because they were unable to have children. I got on well with his wife, even when I became his concubine. Uh, problems started when I had my children. Oh, you can... I can... I actually can go down the other dialogue tree. How many children? We have three adorable children. Angels that his legitimate wife despises. They remind her that she is barren. I told you everything I know to help in your decision. But you have further questions, ask them. Okay. Uh, no, that thank you. Come back to me if you have more questions. Make the right decision for his children. Well, he has a point. Not sure I want to kick his children out. Have the Bohiri's wife. Hmm. Excuse me, you're not allowed in here. These are the quarters of Bohiri's widow. Please, accept our condolences for this tragedy. We are honorable dignitaries. And we're here to solve the dispute related to his inheritance. Ah, okay. Ah, I see. My apologies. I am the widow's servant. You may speak to her. She's over there. She doesn't, they don't have as many people on our side. On their side. Hello, have you come to settle the Bohiri family dispute? Yes. We were sent by one of the city elders. Pashina, hmm. I'm ready to help you have questions. You have my attention. What is your relationship with Bohiri like? I am Bohiri's aunt. I raised him when his mother dis uh, disappeared in the mines many years ago. He considered me his mother. Uh, let's hope she'll be neutral given her relationship with the deceased. What is your opinion on his wife? I knew them when she, they met. She was so sweet and kind. All those years of work and betrayal hardened her. Perhaps if she inherits, she would become kind again. She really works hard. Even when Bohiri abandoned her, she was always active. She's a very dynamic woman. Okay, I, oh, I just asked that. Oops. Let me ask more about... The children, what do you think of them? <sighs> there is no doubt that they are they are my nephews. Mrs. Bohiri's heart is broken, but she's a woman. She's stronger than she thinks. She will forgive one day. Hmm. Bohiri's family. Why didn't he leave you his fortune? You still seem young. <laughs> I take care of myself. But I'm no longer that young. He did plan on dying before me, I suppose. Let's say that our family is very complicated. Bohira was the only one to have a job to feed everyone. I would never have wanted such a burden. Uh, what's your opinion on this? Uh, I asked this already. Oh, I guess that's it. I keep hitting that. What's your opinion about the situation? Choosing between a wife who gave everything and, and children who are innocent. Oh, excuse me. Curi choosing between a wife who gave everything and children who are innocent? I wouldn't, wouldn't want to be in your shoes. You men should really hold yourself. Uh, I guess she's like, I don't have an opinion on this. Very well. 
I think I asked her all the questions. Alright, let's talk to the wife. Welcome, and thanks for your support in these sad days. Our most sincere condolences, madam. We are the envoys of the Elder. We're here to settle the legacy issue, the inheritance issue. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. I think it's uh, too early to talk about that. <sighs> but if the council decided to resolve this problem now, then so be it. All right. We have spoken to the two women and, are not, and we are now able to give our verdict. We must not rush and make sure we have all the information we need to reach a fair decision. <sighs> okay. You can give your verdict or get more information from the family. I already told you everything I could. I hope that you'll render justice. Can you tell us more about- oh, That's interesting. I, thought, I talked to everybody. But I just, can you tell us more about your story? Bohiri and I were together since our teenage years. My family didn't agree with our relationship because at the time he was a poor man. I turned my back on my parents and married him. We had some hard times, but we succeeded and made this fortune together. Our culture is unfair with women. I worked as much as him, if not more, to develop our trade. The law considers the fortune to be his. I would like to know more about... Your fortune? I betrayed my relatives and I even stole money from my parents at the time of for at the time for Bohiri. It's my money that enabled him to start his business. Mm, wow. Uh, could you tell us more about your story? Did you love each other? I loved him with all my heart, even when he started cheating on me with this abomo. I forgave. I forgave him. But he really humiliated me by writing this testament in which I am opposed to this gold digger. You're, the problem about his, of his inheritance. I worked so hard for this business. I sacrificed my youth and was unable to have children. Mohiri was ready to adopt, but his family and the gossipers in, our, in the city started putting pressure on him. In our tradition, blood ties are very important. That made that I took off the streets, gave him the, these three children under my roof. It hurt, but I forgave him. After all, he never married her. But he put her on his testament as an equal to me. As if not having children ruled out all of my sacrifices. I'll never forgive them. Oh dear. This certainly gives me pause now. I'm like, um, hmm. That's kind of... If I get back my due, due, I will not be able to live with them as we did before. It would be too humiliating, too insulting. They will have to go. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, I guess, like, blah, 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 blah. She just says the same thing. Uh, she looks ready to kick out those children. Okay, I think I've got all the information I need. Oh, how is this a little stuck there? Yeah, it looks like I'm looks like I'm done with her too. It's like, man, I don't know. She's just like, well, the money's probably gonna get screwed over if we give it to somebody who, but she can't manage money. But the problem is the wife might kick out the children. So I'm like, I don't know. Man, why does this game make me have to make value judgments? Jeez, guys. You give me hard bosses and you give me hard decisions.
Let's go ahead and figure this out. I actually like this though, to be honest. At least the game is certainly not going to make your life easier. Alright, what do you have to... Let me talk to you. Is it... <gasps> over? Ask for Boney's opinion. What is your opinion on this of this family's dispute? <laughs> hmm, Enzo, are you sure you want his opinion? You're really <laughs> sure of yourself, super great diplomat? <laughs> sure so, aren't you, super great diplomat? Uh, I think that you should... Give me the fortune of this <laughs> dead man. I was certainly related to him, uh, like maybe the third time removed or something. I have proof, you know. He had a mustache just like me. <laughs> I warned you, Enzo. <laughs> if you want your decision to be really fair, <laughs> add one of his wives to my inheritance. <laughs> I have a preference for the youngest one, by the way. Oh, brother. Let me at talk to Pa. What was your relationship with Bohiri? He was my childhood friend. I considered him a brother. He never listened to my advice on women, and that, of course, this is the result. What was your relationship with his wives? Why is everyone talking as if it was this woman's... Oh, I see. Uh, there's a word missing. I was like, what? Why is everyone talking as if it was this woman's intention? fault if, if she wasn't able to have children. It's not fair. So yeah, they don't want to accuse like she's saying like, that's not fair. It's just because she can't have children. It's not like she wanted to. What do you think of his legitimate wife? She's a strong <coughs> woman and a kind lady. I can even say that without her, he would not have gotten this far. Uh, let me ask you about your... this one. What about his concubine and his children? I met her recently. She was only a servant in his house. When she had children with him, she became his concubine. Uh, is there anything else? That would be all, thank you. Why did I say nothing? Nothing. Maybe you have something to say. Hello, I'm in charge of the Bohiri's farm, Fidel. He has no opinion of this matter. Oh, I'm not sure myself. Alright, let's figure this out. Here's my decision. Well, <laughs> well, I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, you sure? What if I say no? <laughs> if I sober up, you'll have the deaths of all these chickens on your conscience! <laughs> Why? Oh, do you know how hungry you get <clears throat> when there's no more wine in your belly? <laughs> and anyway... I can try to ask... I mean, I, I think I've gotten all the information out of her. She didn't... She seemed to like only wanted to... Yeah, she doesn't say... Were you married? Did you love each other? Yeah, actually, I was curious. Yeah, I might as well ask this question again, because I'm like, what? Oh yeah, I didn't ever ask this question. Love? Yes, I love the presents he gave me. When I went somewhere, people respected me because of his fortune. Uh, what did Bohiri say to you about... About his legitimate wife? He was afraid of her, and that is normal. Why? She could not forgive him for our relationship. I am sure she poisoned him. You know what an angry woman is capable of. Oh. You didn't tell me everything you know.
Are you married? You should love each other. What did he say to you about his children? He cherished our children. He wanted them to take over his businesses when they grew up. You know that bloodlines are very important in this world. If you allow this witch to inherit, she will chase us away and Bohir will not be at peace in the Great Vale. It is true that the children have done nothing wrong to deserve such a fate. Man, she didn't love him, but... <sighs> this is horrible. This is a horrible decision to make. My gosh, game, you're making me question my own morality. Ugh, this is horrible. I hate making hard decisions. Well, might as well see what happens. I'll give my decision. Sure! <laughs> Finally! My decision is... I know, right? You represent the Council of Isao, young man. Don't forget that your decision cannot be appealed. She'll make the right one. Thank you for the extra pressure. Who will inherit from Bohiri? Uh, I mean, like, here's my reasoning, guys. As much as I do, I do agree that Ma Madame Bohiri did work really hard. But it seems that she, like, they say, like, maybe she'll be better... But there's this kind of a maybe she will forgive them. But she seems pretty insistent to kick them out. On the other hand, Obomo is probably going to screw the fortune over. But she does have the children. And if she gets it, at least the children will be safe. <sighs> this is hard, guys. I'm kind of leaning toward the Obomo and the children. Only because at the very least, there's somebody... At least they won't get kicked out, but because they're the most innocent ones. I mean, <sighs> oh my gosh! All right, I'm picking the children. Done. The person I've chosen to administer the deceased Mr. Bohiri's estates is. Hey! Wait a minute! <laughs> huh? You! <laughs> I hope you did consider me as a potential heir! <laughs> huh? You're not even a member of the Bohiri family! Uh, what? Or uh, is that compulsory? <laughs> of course it is! Oh, well, uh... He was my uncle three times removed. Is that okay? Let's continue, please. The person I've chosen to administer... Huh, I like that. Administer the deceased Mr. Bohiri's estate is... Who should I choose as heir? What? I get another choice? I could... The children? Abomo and the children. Well, I like how the howling of that, that same howling from the church. Ah, <sighs> I don't know if I've made the right decision. But I had to think about the children, guys. I'm sorry. It's true that they would- I would not- This game is evil. It's just like, are you really sure you wanted to pick that? I'm like, yes, I'm really sure I wanted to pick that. Oh, it's fantastic. I have finally inherited Bohiri's fortune. My prayers at Kamga's church paid off. I, uh, You know I, I destroyed 
Yes, I did save before this, so I'm allowed to... I can always reload and try to do the other decision if you want to see what it's like. But I think I'll have to live with this one for now. Anyway, I will save on the separate slot first, and then I will reload to show the other choice, since you guys were probably pretty curious. Now my kids and I will live as we deserve. No way this is happening. The, this fortune was built on my sweat and tears. I will never allow this social climber to snatch it from me. Never. You must respect the council's decision. It is the law. I'm really sorry for the one left aside by this decision. <laughs> the super has... Fantastic Diplomat has taken the worst decision possible, as I thought. This is not the time for silly jokes, Mr. Boney. <laughs> That's the downside of major responsibility, naive young kid. Huh. Is this why you hide your lack of responsibility behind alcohol? Uh. Those remarks don't affect me. I will inform Elder Belando of your decision. <sighs> Angani, it was a difficult choice, but one you had to make. Hmm. <sighs> if we had stayed in Zama, would we have the same choices to make? Cases with no ideal solutions for everyone. Unfortunately, what helps is to have as much, much information as possible before making this a decision. What made you motivated your choice? Why a Bomo and the children? She would take care of the children. I mean, ultimately, none of, not it was not these two things. It's not the resentment. Cause that's fine. It's not that it has no children. We needed the children. I made this choice to ensure that innocent children do not suffer. It makes sense. It is a shame for Madame Bohiri. It is a shame for Madame Bohiri that we have taken her life's work. It is unfair for her, but I understand. Irene teamwork plus one. We have finished with all the problems in this city. Let's go back to see Elder Belandil. Return to see Elder Belandil. <coughs> Alright, we'll save over here. But I will load the other one. Let's just say, alright. So, I will live with that choice, but what happens if I had chosen the madam? Uh, alright, I'll give my decision, yeah, no. You remember the rubber bar? Thank you for the extra pressure! Oh, it's interesting that he just goes straight into that. Who should I choose as heir? That's funny that you can... You interrupt. I'll pick Madame Bohiri. Madame Bohiri. Thank you for your clairvoyance. I will protect this fortune and take care of those who must benefit from it legitimately. But this does not make sense. It is unfair. Why her? And what will happen to my children? I need that fortune. It cannot end this way. You must respect the council's decision. It is the law. I'm really sorry for the one left aside by this decision. Does he say... Yeah, he always he just says the same thing. He's like, you picked the worst decision. Not time for this. It's pretty funny. He just he always says you picked badly. 
regardless of which choice you make.